What you guys got another video here for you now I've had quite a few requests on removing a particular rogue and it's the same rogue really but it's just been named many different names so I thought I'd make a quick video to show you once and for all all of these rogues are the same and you can use the same method for any of these rogues that you may be seeing on the screen right now They've got the same uh, GUI interface, but they're just named a different name, okay? And there's tons of them all over the internet. These are just a sample of a few of them. So I thought I'd infect this machine a couple of times and show you the same steps, okay? So let's get started. So first off, we have our row gear, and I'm just going to quickly install this on the system. Once that's installed, you'll see it's starting to go on. And this is what you'll be greeted with once that happens, okay? Now once you've got this on, there is a code that you can actually add in here okay, to, to get rid of this and this will register it and allow you to run scans on your system. Now once you've run scans on your system, it should remove this. Now we're going to be using a free program from ESET, it's to remove rogues and I will put the link for those in the description okay, for 32-bit and 64-bit. Now as you can see here, pretty much it renders the computer useless and when you try to run anything it won't run okay it blocks it just like so it will say prevent as soon as you uh, try to click out of this it will stop you renaming stuff okay as you can see here it won't let me rename it stops all that from happening so what do we do well what do we do is we can boot into safe mode if we wish and run this program but also you can register your um, rogue here and then you'll be able to run scans so what we need to do is find where we can register so what we need to do is click on the question mark here and register now once you register this it will um, register the product and it will allow you to remove it from the system uh, by using scans or uh, uninstalling it so let's have a look at the code here that we've got is 0 w 0 0 0 000 zero, zero, B0 and then we want 00 zero, T00 zero, 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 and then E00 zero, zero, 21. Once you put this code in, it will register the product. This will be the same for any one of these rogues that you see. Now, straight away, as soon as that's registered, what that means is we will be now able to use our computer we can now access the internet as you can see we can also run our programs if we wish and this will then kill this process here if I push yes it's just gonna run a scan on this system and kill this off and find it's infected you can see here it's found something let me just pull this open here so you can see. I'm going to say Y to delete that. And then Y again. So we're just going to do the Y for yes on all of those and it will then delete that um, process as you can see here it's found it in the roaming folder and it's killed all that off okay so we're going to go do uh, y for yes here and finish off our scan which will now uh, clean off the rest of the system once this is done you can then run malware bytes and then uh, hitman pro and then the system should be back up and running Okay, so that's the actual scan now finished and it's found one more file and that is also in the roaming folder. If you look at the uh, shortcut on the screen here, if I right click on this and open file in location, it will take me to the roaming folder and you will see that's where it is and that's the file it's going to delete which is to do with this rogue. So we're going to go all and then push enter and it will submit a report to ESET if you wish I would advise you to do that and you can say yes to that if you wish or no I'm just going to go no in this uh, instance you can open up a website now if you wish I'm going to just put no there and then push continue and that is now complete now I'd also run 
um, Malwarebytes and Hitman Pro as well. So let's just quickly install this one here. This is another virus as you can see. We're just going to quickly install this one and hopefully this one will load up. This one is called uh, Windows Safety Master. Again, we'll uh, quickly click on this. There we go, that's up. Now as you can see here, already it's already um, registered. And the reason why is because the previous one was registered. And once you register once, it will automatically register all of them. So that key code does work as you can see here. The register part is missing. And that will be for the same of any of these types that you install, okay? So let's just try and infect this machine with some more to see whether they get registered automatically. So I'm going to try and infect it with another one. Now some of these may work, some of them may not. There you go. That's the Windows Prime Shield. That's automatically uh, registered, so you can then remove that. So as you can see, that same code will work with all these names. Let's try another one. Let's try one more. Oh, this one wants to do something here. Windows Prime Booster, as you can see there. Okay, some of these aren't working, but you get the general idea that they're automatically uh, registered. So that key code will work with every type that you've seen me showing you on this screen and many others. Okay, so if you want to know how to remove them, I've already made a video a while ago, which I will put the link in the description there to show you how to remove it, or there'll be a little annotation on the screen that you can watch how to remove, or you can just use that method, register it with that code which I will put in the video and also you can then run uh, the ESET tool here to uh, remove that from the system. Now let me just quickly do a quick scan here. I'm just going to do a quick scan and remove this stuff and then do a scan with Hitman Pro and uh, Malwarebytes as well. Okay, so I'm going to quickly just type in all here just to remove all of the content that is found. As you can see here, there's tons of them there. All the same type of file uh, with different names to them. And uh, what we're going to do is, uh, we don't want to submit a report, you can do. I'm just going to quickly say yes then just to stop that. Just going to send in data. Now in the meantime also I've got Malwarebytes running a scan and I've also got Hitman Pro running a scan in the background and that's what you want to do is clean up all the remnants that are left behind okay. So I'm going to say no to the website part and that's now all done. We should have no more of those rogues on our system. We can delete all these, we don't need these anymore. But that's basically how you can clean those up very easily and they're all the same. So I'll just let this uh, do its thing and let this uh, run a scan and remove the rest that's on my system. It needs a reboot to remove the rest because we've uh, scanned uh, before we've rebooted. You can see here there is loads more of a crap in there and it's all the same stuff really. So we'll just let that finish. And Malwarebytes is going to find exactly the same thing, I should imagine. So it's not activated, I just need to activate this. So I'll quickly click OK there, go next, and remove those from the system. It wants me to reboot, I'll do that later on. And again, Malwarebytes has finished its uh, scans as well and we can remove all that stuff as well and then we can reboot our system and we should be back up and running 
So I'll just quickly do that. Okay, so now we're back at the desktop and I think you agree that's all done and they're all removed. Now, obviously this key code may work for quite some time, then they may change it, but it does work with all those uh, types of uh, rogues there. And I will put a list of the names that it works with in the description for you. Okay, so I hope this video helps you out. I hope this uh, saves me from having to make the same video over and over and over again. So thanks again for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed it. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, then hit the uh, like button. That really does help me out. And also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos. So thanks again. Bye for now.